Okay, uh, got a problem I just uh, came up with here. I've added, that's the rotor there. I've added a band of aluminum around the outside of the uh, rollers. And that would help keep them uh, from uh, twisting, pulling in, pulling out. I have an idea they were actually being drawn in to the core as it was spinning, which doesn't make any sense. But uh, it's my best guess. Uh, it's like the centrifugal force did uh, disappear, and it's faster it went, the uh, more it pulled them in instead of pull, pull, uh, throwing them out. So I not only did that, but I had this aluminum stripping on the inside here. Uh, added some of that. And I've added some iron strips, put those back in there. Those are brake pads. I'm using it for the iron. I've got one there, got one there, got two or three of them, two or three of them in there. Anyway, this whole outer strip here, this whole outer strip here broke loose. Well, not the whole outer strip, but a good majority of them have broken loose, and they actually unscrewed themselves. Half of them, I'd say, unscrewed themselves or came loose. Uh... The uh, bond that I have holding the magnets together, those uh, have lost the bond too. I've got a lot of magnets, it looks like. I've got to put back together. I wouldn't uh, separators here. I was hoping to use those to keep them separated so they wouldn't slam into each other if something would hit them. But... Uh, for some reason or another, uh, nothing hit along this outer half. But now these things are starting to unscrew themselves. They're actually spinning, trying to. Uh, I, my best guess is the uh, iron on the outside, and maybe the aluminum too. The aluminum stripping I have, I have on here. Uh, it's isolating the poles. It's I've got more on the inside, so I have more on the outside. It's kind of isolating the poles, and now they're actually inter really interacting with the rotor. So it's going to be down a little while until I can come up with an idea to figure out what the heck happened uh, and how to fix this. The other half seems to have helped. Well, one of them did. Yeah, I got one over there. That one there. Uh, so it's going to be a little while till I figure out what in the heck uh, to do about this situation. It didn't hurt any of the uh, rollers on the uh, the rotor. Didn't bother any of them. Which normally happens if they slam into uh, something, they those bonds will break. Oh, and I also have, I took off the copper sleeves, and I added uh, the, the copper flashing. So I, uh, I have a nice tight winding of uh, copper flashing. I use one foot of copper flashing with the uh, backing on it on each one of them. I've got them tightly wound. One of them came loose the first time I ran this thing. And I had to do some repair work on that. As far as I can tell, nothing else. I see one may have, maybe dropping. Yeah, the other problem I have with that wrapping on there is the copper sleeve now tries to uh, go down. It's, and then it stops the rollers. And once... Once synchronization is lost with this thing, if one of those rollers uh, 
loses synchronization. Uh, it's, it just it bumps. The magnetic fields start hammering against each other. There's no smooth transition. They start hammering, and these things really hammer. Or this thing hammers. So I don't know if that. I don't doubt if the hammering had anything to do with this. Because, like I said, I found one screw about a quarter of an inch out from the magnet, which never happened before. This never happened before. So, that's where I'm at. If anyone's interested, I'm out of here.